What's up, you guys? Silver here, and I'm going to show you how to speed solve a bandage cube. This is a very difficult puzzle to uh, solve in general, uh, but speed solving takes it to a whole new level. Uh, you could possibly even be, what, sub 12 or faster with this cube. Uh, I will say that uh, the algorithms is a little weird, so to memorize these algorithms, you're just going to have to like learn how to uh, just sort of observe uh, while prefer performing the algorithm just to help you memorize. Alright, so how do we speed solve this bandage cube? Let me show you uh, two methods, one which is sort of a little uh, intuitive, which is a beginner way and then the second one would be full of algorithms uh, which is sort of intermediate and then uh, a little advanced. Uh, the advanced part uh, I actually don't know how to do because the algorithms, there, there's a lot more algorithms and I don't have those algorithms and I can't find those algorithms anywhere online so it would be amazing if someone were to uh, make those algorithms. Alright, so I have CS Timer because scrambling this is also not easy so I'm just gonna follow by the the computer generator. Okay. So the first method we're going to go ahead and start with the beginner method, the beginner speed solving method. So the beginner speed solving method, uh, this has a um, a combined center. So you want to make a two by th two by three block here. Uh, in this case, you can make a two by two block here or a two by two block here if the camera can focus. Okay. So in this case. Uh, also, another thing is to uh, always uh, move with that center because this cube, QB here, it's the only QB you have, and it's the 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 piece that helps you move around with the cube. Okay, if you don't have that QB, you cannot turn the puzzle at all. All right, so in this case, uh, you uh, I would make this 2x2 two two block because it's only one move okay and then if, 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 it, if it was much more complicated then you could just have a choice of either solving this first or solving this first whichever is easier for you or faster uh, here now that I saw that I have to make this other block okay intuitively which is not easy to do because sometimes you can mess this up okay here. Uh, at this point, I don't really know what I'm doing because the majority, you, you have to play around with it um, because sometimes it doesn't go the way you want it to be. So, uh, in this case I'm kind of stuck so I'm going to have to sledgehammer that. I can't insert like that because uh, I can't turn much and I can't turn that piece because this piece is bandaging it so I might have to find a loophole here uh, I did not mean to do that so don't let that distract you oh wait I think I got it oh there you go okay so I I guess I sort of back slotted it somehow but again, that was just mo mostly because I was just playing around with it. So I have to go like that, and there we go. Okay. Once you solve these, once you solve the two by two by three block, you have to align all the centers, uh, just this one and this one, and then align this corner piece right here. Sometimes you might end up uh, doing. I can't get to that case. Trying to show that case. It's like an anti zoom looking one.
yeah, I can't. <laughs> this, this puzzle's very difficult, so. Uh, but usually sometimes the corner could be out of place and you would have to sort of uh, just move around a little bit and then it will get back into place and it will be like this. So once you got these two centers like this and the corner right here, the corner will always be oriented correctly. So if it looks like that. Now here you're going to have to use a lot of algorithms. Uh, for this beginner uh, method, you're going to have to know about eight algorithms. No, just exactly eight algorithms. So eight algorithms here. So the way the F2L order is going to be, is going to be a left pair, then right pair. And then your last step is just a uh, last layer. Uh, there's only two cases for last layer, so that's uh, that's good. Okay, so uh, once we know that, let's start doing the left pair. So uh, for this case, the left pair can be in any four spots. Okay, one, two, three, and four. In this case, we have it in this uh, what we called uh, RFD, the RFD spot. Okay, if it's at the RFD spot right here, you're gonna have to do this algorithm to move it to here. Okay, I'm gonna do this slowly so that you can also observe the piece. Just like that. If your uh, left F2L pair is right here at the URB spot, then you're gonna have to do this algorithm. If your left F2L pair is at the back right here, the UBL spot, then you do this algorithm. Okay, if your left F2O pair is right here, uh, the UFL spot, then you do this algorithm. And that's how you solve this left F2O pair. All right, and then next you do the right F2O pair. All right, for this case you have three uh, you have three spots, but you're going to use two algorithms. The spot that is very ugly to do is when the F2O pair is right here. I don't know the algorithm for it. Uh, the algorithm that I'm using is from. Uh, this website. It's J-A-A-P-S-C-H dot net. Uh, this is where I'm getting the algorithm from. Okay. And it's a very nice method. I'll probably put the website in the uh, in the description. Alright, so now to do this piece, since it's right here, when it's right here we do a last layer algorithm. So I'll show you that uh, at the very last. But right now, we have this F12 pair at our UFL spot. So because it's at the UFL spot, you do this algorithm. Just like that. If you have this case where it's at the back, which is the UBL spot, uh, you do this algorithm for the UBL spot. Okay. 
sorry if I'm angling at a, a very bad spot. I'm looking through the algorithm. I'm not looking at my cube. Okay. Now, what do we do if let's say so what do we do what do we do if if it's right here then you're gonna have to use a last uh, a last layer algorithm okay in this case you can either ch you can use one algorithm for this uh, your favorite choose your favorite last layer algorithm and then it would move either one here or one here okay uh, I, let's go with let's go into the uh, the last layer algorithms right now for this bow tie last layer we're going to use this algorithm just like that for this last layer case you have this T T shape OLO so you're going to do this algorithm yeah just like that there you go I almost, I almost lost it So here it is, here's what it looks like again. There you go. All right. So that's how you do the beginner speed solving uh, method. All right, now let's get into the intermediate uh, or bit, a little advanced method. Okay, so as you can see, we have the scramble again. So this time, instead of solving the 2 by 2 block, you're going to go ahead and go straight into solving all these centers. So I need to find a cube. It's right here. So when I do an F2, I can go ahead and turn. So I'm going to orient this first, then this, and then orient this. So my inspection move would be like this, like that. Uh, and the reason in that order is because of this QB here. So, because of this QB, it's gonna go right here when I do that, and then this is gonna go here when I turn that, and because it's still on the top layer, I can move this, and so I can orient these three like that. The, these are always gonna be oriented, and then the rest uh, just orient, okay. Here's the QB that I'm talking about, where sometimes when you solve all centers, the corner looks like this, okay, an anti soon case. Whenever you get this, I just move this to here and do a sledge and then U prime and then that gets back to your uh, your solved uh, QB and your centers, okay? All right, so now uh, let's get a little advanced here. So. Now for this intermediate, uh, you have a lot more algs. You pretty much have 19 algorithms. So, uh, yeah, a lot more algorithms now. So, and the reason is because now you have more algorithms to do the back pairs, okay? So, the, the way the order is, is you do the left back pair, the right back pair, then the left front pair, and then the left, I mean, the right front pair. All right? So, how do we do this? Well, there are six cases for the left back pair, okay? The one that we have now is at the UBR, the URB spot, okay? For the URB spot, we're going to go ahead and do this algorithm. Let me do that again. Oh, 
but I'm going to face this way. If your left pair is at the UBL spot, okay, you're going to have to do this algorithm. Just like that. If your F2L back pair is at the UFL spot, you go ahead and do this algorithm. If your left pair is right here at the uh, FRD spot, uh, you do this algorithm. If your left F2L pair is right here at the FLD spot, you do this algorithm. If your F2O pair is right here at the, uh, the LFD spot, then you're going to have to do this algorithm. I'm sorry, uh, not LFD, uh, the, the BRD spot. If it's at the BRD spot, uh, you do this algorithm. Okay, so that's for that left uh, back pair. I know that was a lot of algorithms, but if you memorize all that, then you can just go straight into uh, immediate recognition, and then uh, you can immediately execute the algorithm, and that can be very fast. Instead of uh, thinking uh, different ways or just messing around to make a 2x2x3 two by two by block. Okay, next you have the back pair, so let's go ahead and get started with that. And in this case, the back pair here is right here. Okay. If it's at the, so this is pretty much at the UBL spot. If it's at the UBL spot right here, then you do this algorithm. Just like that. If it's right here, where it's at the UFL spot, then you do this algorithm. If it's right here, at the URB spot, you do this algorithm. Just like that. If it's right here at the RFD spot, okay, you do this algorithm. Just like that. If it's at the LFD spot right here, then you do this algorithm. just like that. And that's how you solve uh, those two back pairs. Okay. And then the rest, uh, you do the same thing that I showed you. You solve the left pair first, and then the right pair, just like that. Now, I'm going to stop right here and get into the, uh, the advanced explanation. I'm, I don't think I could uh, perform the advanced method solve because I don't know the algorithms and I can't find any online so I'm just going to give an explanation on how the advanced uh, the advanced method works pretty much you solve these two blocks okay you solve these two back pairs and then you pretty much do one two three four five last five blocks uh, 
all in one go. In fact, you could even do two look uh, last five block, and then you could like okay solve these two pairs, and then last layer, or uh, do some cycles, uh, or whatever. Okay, but mainly the advanced way is just solving these two blocks. So it's pretty much just orienting these centers and the QB. Uh, last two, I mean the the back pairs, and then. Uh, literally everything here, uh, which is a lot of algs, a lot of algs, but uh, it's pretty uh, pretty OP. <laughs> uh, and I'm pretty sure learning all last five blocks, I don't know how many algorithms. I'm pretty sure it's a lot. I'm pretty sure it's a lot, but uh, geez. Doing that, you could probably be like sub 10 or sub 12 with this method. Uh, depending on how good your how, how smooth and how good your execution uh, you are, you could definitely solve this cube in, in 10 seconds. So that's how you speed solve a bandage cube. Let me actually go ahead and solve this. Uh, let's see, this piece is right here. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know the algorithm, so I'm just going to... Uh, look at this. So this here, this is at the UFL. Okay, and then we have this here. Yeah, pretty much uh, uh, before what I just did, it was like a three cycle here. You could, the advanced method would just use one algorithm to cycle these three. And then this is also another good example. Advanced method would cycle these three in one go. So that's the advanced method. I don't have the algorithms, so I don't know any of the algorithms. So I'm just going to do this. Okay. Now this is uh, UBL. There you go. That's how you speed solve a bandage cube. Uh, if you're committed, <laughs> uh, go for it. <laughs> but it, it is fun. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.